Hi everybody, this is Beth Stylak coming to you from the Harbor Springs Area Historical Society with another Collections Corner. This is where we highlight an artifact from our collection of hundreds of documents, pictures, and 3D artifacts like this. This is a shadow box that contains uh, a wonderfully detailed hair wreath and hair ornaments. This particular one was made in 1857. Uh, it was donated to us by a lady named Pauline Chorley and her great grandmother made this using the hair of family members and friends. Victorian hair art was part of a culture of mourning and sentimentality that characterized the era from 1850 until about World War I. Jewelry, wreaths, and other decorations made from human hair represented grief and mourning, but were also used to create family trees, friendship keepsakes, and were even given as romantic gifts. So you can see there's quite a few different techniques that were used to create this particular piece. If we zoom in here, you can see some of these over here, for example, have been, the hair has been twined and attached to a wire and the wire is then bent in these intricate designs and shapes to look like flowers. Gimp work or gimping was the process of wrapping strands of hair around wire. The wire could then be bent into different shapes and other intricate designs. Some of the larger sprigs of hair, for example, down here lower, those are created by using sap or some other sort of stiffener to fan the hair out and then bend into particular positions. Pallet work, where the hair was stiffened with sap or another material, and then bent was especially popular in jewelry. Bracelets, earrings, and other jewelry were usually made using a technique called table work. This involved a side table and weighted strands of hair, which were woven in a way that is similar to crocheting or lace work. Popular ladies' magazines at the time included illustrations and figures which showed ladies how to create these intricate designs. These magazines also included designs for molds, which the hair could be woven around to create specific shapes, especially for earrings. Hair was even pulverized and mixed as a powder with water, oil, or other mediums to create paint, which was then used to create scenes of mourning on lockets and other objects. The other interesting thing about this piece is the frame that it's in. When you look at the frame, the detail is exquisite, and as you get closer, you start to realize that these are actually pine cones. Each individual little piece of the pine cone has been pasted onto this overall frame. The practice of making art from hair ended around World War I. Thank you so much for joining us for this Collections Corner, and we hope to see you at the next one.